PSS Sinkai Low Flow is an effective tool for calculating the operational behavior of electrical transmission and distribution networks. It can be used to determine the power flow from generators through network elements to the power consumers. The low flow calculations results are used as inputs to other modules. To see this, load the example network, example LD, from the Zincal installation. Load flow settings can be found under Calculate Settings in the tab Load Flow. Every load flow problem involves solving a system of nonlinear equations, which are solved through numerical methods. As network behavior can differ, PSS Syncal offers different calculation algorithms to find the best solution. The operating points of the modeled network elements are adjusted in each iteration until a desired accuracy is reached. The maximum number of iterations can be set and a pre-calculation to evaluate a solution, even for wrong input data, is available. If network collapse is imminent, loads may need to be shared to maintain the possibility of emergency operation. Load and supply are assigned priorities, and if shedding becomes necessary, this is done according to assigned priorities. If load shedding is on, loads are shed to restore valid operating conditions. Voltage limits for shedding are entered in the load flow settings. In building the network, at least one slack generator is needed in the network to balance the fault. The slack infeeder prescribes the voltage at a node and fulfills a balancing role allowing power to be a result of the load flow calculations. Multiple slack generators are allowed. In case of islanding conditions, PSS Syncal offers the option of switching the strongest generator over to a slack to provide the isolated network with power separately. Loads in PSS Syncal are modeled as being one of seven different load flow types and combinations of these. How the load is to be entered in PSS Syncal depends on the networks and the available data. More than 15 different ways are allowed. Motors, including NEMA models, can be modeled more in depth. DC equipment like solar generation, wind or batteries are also modeled separately in PSS Syncal to reflect their specific behavior. To perform load flow calculation, click Calculate, Load Flow, Standard. Selected load flow results are now shown on the graphic. PSA Syncard provides many powerful tools for visualization of results. To clearly see the network condition without reading numbers, the network results can be color coded. For example, nodes can be coded according to voltage, with voltages between 97 and 103% colored green to signify acceptable values, and voltages outside this range colored red. Utilization for branch elements can also be coded, where red signifies values over 90%, yellow values between 50 and 90%, and green values below 50%. Activate the filter function to see the visualization of results. After performing a load flow calculation, PSS Syncard provides ISO area, a useful tool for visualizing the results. Click Tools, ISO area to open the dialog box. Select Load Flow V, VN in the visualization type. Adjust the color range and other settings. Now click OK. This powerful visualization tool gives the planner an immediate visual overview of the power consumption across the network, useful especially for large networks. In this example, network areas displaying under voltages can clearly be seen in blue. PSS Syncard's visualization tools give you the capability of highlighting the for you critical network elements or operating states in a flexible user-defined way. PSS Syncard can perform load flow calculations on balanced and unbalanced systems. To get a single phase current running, the star points of generators and transformers have to be earthed. Zero phase sequence data for network elements needs to be entered. To enable calculations when some of the network elements do not have zero-phase data, calculation settings can be used to prescribe values for these network elements. Click Calculate Settings. In the Basic Data tab, under Zero Sequence Data, you can enter additional control parameters for the calculations. Mode Zero-Phase Impedance is used to set impedance, so that network elements without zero-phase sequence data will be considered in calculations. PSS Syncal displays network data for unbalanced elements in the same data screen form as those of symmetrical elements. 
The only difference is their connection type. To demonstrate this, consider adding a single phase load. On creation of new network elements, the default setting is a symmetrical terminal with all three phases, L, 1, 2, 3. In the network data of the load, it is possible to define the load as single phase. Now switch on the single phase load and again perform a standard load flow. It is clear to see that the results are now for asymmetrical load flow. PSS Syncal displays network elements in simplified form, where one, two or three phase networks are not displayed in detail. PSS Syncal has a special function to show the type of network element connection. This can be turned on in the Format View dialog box. Click Options to display a dialog box where you can set the view options. Click Show Connection Type to display the connection type for all network elements. Also, four wire load flows can be modeled in PSS Syncal. Here, the return conductor and the transition from the return conductor to ground can be modeled. The grounding impedances can also be modeled. The modeling of the return conductor is done with lines. Either the zero phase sequence can be defined as before, or the data of the return conductor are defined directly. This is done in the section zero phase sequence. To model the connection of the neutral points of the network elements to the return conductor or to the ground, the neutral point impedance is available. The neutral point impedance can be assigned to generators, transformers, and even to nodes and bus bars.